Oh gosh, nothing at all. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Finding inspiration when you do creative work comes from having self-discipline. Did you make all these questions? No, I got them randomly on the internet. Hi guys, Tiny here and welcome to another episode of Random Connects with Tiny. And today I'm with my other flatmate, Ricardo. Hi everyone. <laughs> He's Italiano, so I tried. <laughs> so Ricardo, how did we meet? Uh, we've moved in together in the same flat. Yeah. So we became roommates early November. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like second week, right? Or mm -hmm. something. Or was it later? No, it no, was, was earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, the right. second week of November. Yeah, yeah. And we've been here when there was nothing in the yeah. house. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Nothing at all. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> but a stinky apartment. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so we jump straight into it. We get three random questions. Three random questions. Now, I don't know what these questions are either, even though I picked them, but I still don't know. So, all right. If you get like a whole bunch, just pick out one, okay? Mm -hmm. Would you rather never have a toilet clog on you again or never have the power go out again? Hmm. Would you never have the toilet clog on you again or what? Or... Or never power. have the power go out again. Oh. Hmm, that's a good one. Uh, yeah. I'd say toilet clog. It's 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 a bit more disgusting. And then if yeah. the power goes out, I'm just like, okay, let's be offline for mm. a little while. And yeah, true. And it depends on how long the power goes out for. But if there's a clog and yeah, you have to true. wait for a plumber, that's, it's not something you could do yourself. That exactly. Would be like exactly. a whole, ugh, Yeah. And now okay. that we live with uh, six, six people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather have the power go out. I agree with you. <laughs> All right. Number two. Did you make all these questions? No, I got them randomly on the internet. So would you rather super sensitive taste or super sensitive hearing? Wow. Mm. Um, I would say taste. Just okay. gut feeling mm -hmm. because there's a lot of good food around. Yeah. So many different cuisines and- Yeah, but what like if I you make a mistake? It. And like you eat something bad and that would be super sensitive. Yeah, but that's that, that was my reasoning, right? Because like I'd rather have that yeah. and then drink a bottle of water or yeah. whatever than have a super sensitive hearing, which as, as good as it can be, then there's got to be a lot of ugly sounds out Ooh. there that I'm picking up, you know? Yeah, that's true. So. Then might as well be a superhero. Like at first I was thinking super hearing and then I was like, oh, I could mackle like everybody and got a lot of information. <laughs> but then I thought, oh, can't turn it off. That might yeah, be imagine a like... headache all the time. And I'm super sensitive with sounds. So, there you go. okay, we'll go with taste. Yeah, imagine right. you have like Classic. builders outside your house in the yeah. morning and you have to... Oh. Or even imagine like somebody's talking even and normally you wouldn't hear them, but... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you rather go back to age five with everything you know now or know now everything your future self will learn? Hmm. Or know now everything your future self will learn? Um, I think it takes away the fun mm -hmm. if I know everything from my future self already. Like, what's the point? Yeah. But like, go back to age five with everything I know now will allow me to like bet on a, like gamble on a lot of games and stuff and be rich. <laughs> when you when know, you're like, old enough I, to do that, you can't be like five Yeah, that is, true, that is true. Yeah, but I, I'd rather wait, you know, I just keep, I hold on to all the information yeah, yeah, that yeah. I know and I don't know, I'll probably like yeah. put some money on Amazon and I Netflix agree. and stuff, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm definitely going back at five with everything I know now. I'll be like... <laughs> then it's a super, super and smart, like, you're yeah. going to best university. Everybody go, oh, he's a prodigy. He's a prodigy. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> all right so that's it that's your three questions done and done nice. so now you get to give a piece of advice one piece of advice the best piece of advice i ever received was the fact that creativity it's a discipline so mm -hmm. finding inspiration when you do creative work comes from having self-discipline rather than just waiting for the inspiration mm -hmm. to come to you at whatever time as if it's some vocational yeah. thing and I 
always try to remember that. So I think yeah. maybe that might be useful. That's with someone. That is quite useful because God, it's a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, and lastly, uh, shameless plug. Anything you would like to promote? Anything you want? It, it's really random, anything. Shameless plug. Could be something you've watched, something you've read, something you've mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Um, if someone hasn't read Prince of Abyssinia from Samuel Johnson, I think it's a must read that uh, I feel like everybody should, should, should read. It's a really quick book. Okay. It takes just a few days to, to read through. And it's, I think, it's a book that everybody should read at least once. And it's a really easy read, but important okay. one, I feel. I've never heard of it, so I Prince feel like I, I will check that out too. Okay. Yeah, I think you should. Cool. Well, God. thank you for joining me. Thank and you. agreeing. I know fun. I just roped you in, but <laughs> thank you so much for still coming. I was on my way for the coffee yeah. machine and I'm here. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for us. Till next time. Bye. Cool. Don't forget to like, follow and share.